Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this YouTube series, we would be learning how to create a basic 2D platformer using the Belly Game Engine. So what exactly is Bevy? Bevy is a data-driven game engine built using the Rust programming language. It follows the Entity Component System framework. It's free and open source. If you go through the list of popular game engines on GitHub, we have Kodo at number one of course. I am GUI is more of a graphical user interface and as far as I know, not a full-blown game engine, but I could be wrong. And here with over 20,000 stars, we have the Bevy game engine. The project was updated less than an hour ago at the time of this recording. So yeah, this project is very much in active development. And you should see a ton of features pouring into Bevy with every release. Why would you want to learn and use Bevy? We'll take the first two points together. Rust is a modern programming language which has been gaining a lot of popularity recently. It provides good performance with proper memory management. The second point kind of ties up with the first one. If you are a software engineer, you would want to pick up learning a modern programming language like Rust and not really want to work in C Sharp or C++ at this point, at least in my opinion. Unless the company you are working for requires you to do so specifically. NDT Component System is a software design pattern which enables you to have a ton of objects in a scene in your game. We would go much deeper into Entity Component System in the next two videos. Bevy is also free and open source. No licenses, sales cut, no contracts, nothing. You can go through the Bevy official website for more about the game engine and its advantages. So what would we be learning in this series? The first video explains what entities, components and systems are and how they are implemented in Bevy. The second video is geared more towards people with some background in programming already. It delves deeper into the advantages of ECS. You can skip this video if you are completely new to programming. Next we'll be running a basic Bevy app. This is where we write some actual code and get our hands dirty. Next we learn about Bevy resources. We start spawning entities and shapes for our game. We add physics in Bevy using the Rapier library. We start controlling the player movement using our keyboard using the Leafwick input manager. And we'll also learn other Bevy concepts like plugins, audio, UI, shaders, etc. In the next video, we'll start with the entity component system. Thanks for watching.